Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Sonia. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can get started with using volatility to analyze a memory dump. If you want to know what Memory for N6 is all about, I invite you to read this article in our library. We also have a number of videos on Memory for N6 hosted on our YouTube channel. You will find the links to all those materials in the description box below. Let's assume you have a memory dump that needs to be analyzed for evidence. For this task, two versions of volatility are available for use, versions two and three. You can download the source code for both from the GitHub page. Volatility 2 requires Python 2, while Volatility 3 requires Python 3. I will demonstrate how you can view the active process listing on a memory dump using both versions of Volatility. We will process this memory dump first using Volatility 2. Let's begin. This is the main Python script for Volatility. The memory dump to be processed is passed to the script using the F switch. Before retrieving any information from the memory dump, we have to indicate to volatility information about the system from which the dump was taken. This information is provided using the profile switch. We do not know the profile yet for this dump. To identify the profile to use, we will use the ImageInfo plugin. This plugin takes some time to finish processing. The closest profile is displayed first. It is highly likely that this memory dump had been taken from a Windows 7 machine that had Service Pack 1 installed. Let's utilize this profile to view the active process listing on the memory dump. We will utilize volatility again. Against this memory dump, specify the profile. and then the PS list plugin. We can view the entire list of processes that were active on the machine at the time memory was acquired. In case this output does not show up as expected, run volatility again with another profile that was identified by image info. With volatility too, once the profile is identified, all the other plugins can be used. Let's perform this same task using Volatility 3. We indicate the file to be processed. With this version of Volatility, it is not required to identify a profile and specify it along with each plugin. We can directly utilize the Windows to PS list plugin to view the list of processes that were active when memory was acquired. Most plugin names are similar in both versions of Volatility. To know more about the switches available for a plugin, specify the plugin name followed by the H switch. two versions of volatility exist. Which one should you use? When you are learning about memory for N6, I would recommend using volatility two and three in parallel. For example, if you want to find the list of active network connections, perform the task with volatility two first and then version three. I will tell you why. Both versions of volatility can process memory dumps acquired from Windows, Linux, and Mac computers but only Volatility 3 can analyze memory dumps acquired from the latest versions of these operating systems. At the time of creating this video, Volatility 3 is under active development. Some plugins that are available with Volatility 2 are being developed for Volatility 3. Once you are acquainted with the plugins in version 2, you will be able to figure out easily how the plugin works in version 3. 
You can even contribute to the forensics community by developing plugins for Volatility 3. You can set up your own memory forensics lab at home, create a memory dump from a virtual machine and analyze it. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.